Oh, really? Um, if you want, you can go ahead and explain why you dislike Snake. Honestly, um, it'd be interesting to hear from the perspective of a Yoshi player. this matchup I would not be surprised no um these characters actually play kind of similar um in terms of that they're they use dash dance they have some long range tilts and they do go for grabs but their punish game is very different from each other especially in terms of recovery DK being able to recover from a very far distance uh, Marth not so much but definitely can come from low so we'll see how that goes for him Alright, um, Mar I mean, Marth honestly has some pretty good juggle options this matchup, especially because Jags has some decent experience with this. We have like three decent DKs here in SFL. Uh, we have Mojumbo, we have Nogrilla, and there's one other DK whose name I can't remember, sorry. Might be. Yeah, I can't agree with you. Uh, yeah, A-Flex, there we go. Okay. Um, I can't agree with you. Down tilt shouldn't have a reverse hit hitbox. That's kind of silly because it just it covers everything. If you shield, buffle, roll, you still get hit by the reverse. It's it's dumb. It's not an intuitive mechanic. But I mean, there's a lot of things in this game that are just kind of we look over that are kind of weird in and of themselves. Especially when um, you look at some of the returning characters. A lot of them have some weird stuff that really probably should have been trimmed out and probably would have gotten trimmed out in future versions of the game. We can only speculate, but. I feel like they probably would have fixed that issue with Snake had they had a little more time. I'm surprised you went for that throw in that situation. I'm also surprised you went for that side B there. That was a little weird. Alright, just barely gets clipped by the down air. Mojumbo decides to go for the down B. Um, honestly, if Jags probably could have read that option. He probably could have done a jump out of shield and pretty much punished with any aerial he wanted. Uh, he decides to go for the down air there. Jags really likes to use the down air, not just for tech chasing, but also just to punish a lot of things. Um, it did get a nice buff in PM. It has a lot less end line, makes it good for using close to the ground or just using and follow up with other aerials. So it's not the worst option. Um, Mojumbo's not really doing a lot to punish Jags' recovery. He's trying to do down airs, but it's that really hasn't stopped Jags so much. All right, Mojumbo gets a good grab, but uh, Jags manages to tech roll in and avoid the Nair. It was a ballsy option going for the up smash. Um, he was actually talking about how he decided to go for up smash a lot against Prize, where I really liked the option. Um, he takes that stock pretty clean, 2-0, uh, and, and that puts him up 1. Uh, that means it's Mojumbo's stage pick. Um, it's for, as far as what he's looking for here, he's probably just going to want to go for the big stages. I see Dreamland definitely getting banned here. Um, I'd be surprised if they run it back on Smashville, though. Um, oh, we're going for the character switch. Um, let's see who he pulls out. It looks like he doesn't even know who he's pulling out yet. Yeah, it goes wrong every single character. Yeah, I honestly think he's a little bit frustrated with DK after the past few games, so... I just don't know what he's picking. I wish he would hurry up so I could put the little icon. I'll just leave him on random for now. Diddy Kong, okay. I did not know he had a Diddy Kong. This should be interesting. Alrighty. So we chose uh, Smashville. Honestly, with FD Ban, I would see that being a pretty good stage for Diddy. A lot of room to run with that banana. Um, thing is, it does give Mars some grab conversions. Uh, I believe Jags is trying to go for an up throw chain grab, but Diddy is just shy of fast faller. He has a semi fast fall and actually a rather fast one at that, but the up throw really won't work. Diddy can kind of get out of that a little earlier, and he does have some fast aerials. So it's going to make um, juggling him a little bit harder than it was to juggle DK. Also, Diddy Kong does have a lot of options to mix up his recovery. He can do side B and up B. So it's going to be interesting to see how Jags takes care of offstage edge guarding in this matchup. I hope he knows how to do AGTs, because his item game's going to be pretty on point for this one. Yeah. 
All right, Majumbo goes for the down air on shield. Not quite safe. Uh, misses the sweet spot. I don't know how much time he's put into his Diddy. Um, the sweet spot miss could have been intentional as an option to go for stage, but I don't really see that happening. I'm not really sure how much experience Jax has with the Diddy matchup. We really only have like one Diddy in SFL, and it's Timmy. He's still picking up the character. Uh, goes for the down air there. Misses the sweet spot. Manages to get something out of it anyways. Um, Diddy, despite being a fast faller, does die a little easy off the top because he is a much lighter character. He's one of the lightest in the games, actually. Um, Jags probably should have AGT'd that banana. It's going to cost him a stock. All right. Um, if Jags doesn't adapt quickly to what's happening with this banana, I think Mojumbo's probably going to take this game. All right. That was a good run of tipper. It's, I mean, it works. All right, so he realizes he can't get the chain grab, so now he's just going for the up tilts. Probably a lot better option. Up throw is a decent throw. Um, all right, good. He mixed it up. He went for forward airs this time. Uh, missed the tipper, but that's okay. He's still in an edge guard position. Tries to go for the uh, tipper or the tipper forward smash. Uh, I don't think he quite realizes how large and how much uh, range Diddy can have on that up B. If he charges a little, he can go a very long distance, actually. About, like, two-thirds of FD or so. A majority of smash fill. Um, in addition to that, I'm... I'm happy to see Jags isn't trying to like drop down to edge guard him because I think does have a very nasty meteor hitbox. If you flub your edge guard, like if he goes for a down air and he misses, then he could that could just cost him the stock. Um, the very unfortunate stock right there as well. All right, we go for the banana back air into grab. Um, Majumbo's starting to get a little bit more out of his grabs now that he's figuring out what he can do against Marth. Um, Jags goes for the neutral B instead of the dare. I think he feels like the dare wouldn't have connected quite so much with Majumbo's DI there. Uh, it would have been risky. I agree with that. I'm just not really sure if the neutral B was a better option in that situation. All right, he does the neutral B again. Um, I mean, basically the way it works with Diddy Kong is if you don't kill Diddy Kong off the side, unless you go out and gimp him, he's probably going to get back on stage. Yeah. Um, he's not really required to sweet spot. Well, the recovery does have a sweet spot. It's a little hard to get. It's there, though. Um, he can very easily go for stage a lot of the time, and he does have a hitbox on his body. And even, oh. oh, unfortunate SD by Jags. Uh, I think he may have been trying to catch the banana. Honestly, that was a little bit of a weird air dodge. But um, I'm, not, I'm not sure what he was doing there. Yeah. yeah, I don't either, but this is still easily his game. Uh, he's got Diddy at high percent. Uh, there is that Marth effect going on, but uh, honestly, forward tilt could take the stock right here if he just goes for the option. He tried to do it there, uh, accidentally cranked on the peanut, though. Uh, I don't think he realizes that he can actually grab those peanuts out of the air. You can actually uh, both AGT Diddy's peanuts and his banana. A uh, bit of a weird forward. All right, there we okay. go. Good job. Nice tipper. He can bring this back. He can bring this back. Yeah, yeah, he can easily bring this back. Um, Jags can. He's a very momentum-based player sometimes, but um, he definitely can keep his composure in sets like this. Very good wall tech jump. Um, sadly, he reverses his momentum with his demo. Um, all right. I hope Jags realizes that it is uh, stage first and character first. So if he does counterpick to a small stage, he may get bodied by the DK. We'll see what happens here. All right, he picks Green Hill Zone, and Diddy is still staying. This is a bit of a better stage. It's still okay for Diddy. Diddy can definitely make this work. Um, the walls do make it a little bit weird, but um, his up is still definitely a very good move on the stage. The smaller stage does mean that he can maintain more control if he manages to run away with the stage, but he definitely has to claim the stage from Jags first. So it's really the first one to get knocked off the stage. It's going to be the one that's going to have to contest for stage control after. Um, Jags should also be able to extend his aerial combos off that main platform there like he's doing right wow. now. Gets the tipper on the neutral B. That's good. Uh, it seals the stock pretty early. He only has 20%. He could definitely make this game up. Um, maybe he just doesn't feel comfortable on the stage. I honestly couldn't tell you, Mumbo. I have no clue. Uh, it's not a bad stage for... Ooh, he tries to air dodge up, and I guess he doesn't realize he grabbed the banana. Either that or he just really wanted that banana. Honestly, in that situation, he would have just been better off trying to go for ledge. If he gets hit... He's at a low enough percent, he should have been able to come back, okay? Alright, that was a very weird air dodge there. Um, Jags did punish it. Not as good as he probably could have, but it doesn't matter. He gets a stock anyways. Uh, 
He's up a very good amount. Still keeping his lead from earlier, just a little bit behind on percent. Um, still kind of struggling with that banana, though. I think he was just trying to just weave in and out and just kind of miss space that grab and eat the banana. All right, he actually did... Um, Latif did a very smart thing there up throwing that banana. So it would cover his forward smash in case he missed it on shield. It would still cover Jags trying to go in. He would really have to just space out with a tilt. And he decided to go for the grab, not realizing the banana was going to come down. Uh, good job there. Is that going to be enough? No, it is not. He gets back on stage, grabs the banana though. And Tipper, all right, we're good. Uh, Jags is definitely taking a commanding lead in this game. All right. Um, just barely gets off that Nair. Managed to get the L cancel, get the punish. Uh, wave land back into down smash. Alright, looks like he takes that stock. Um, he's gonna have to definitely try to make this stock up. Uh, Diddy, when he's behind, he doesn't exactly have the most options. He can't cheese people like some other characters can, where they can just, like, DK or DDD, where they can just kind of grab you, cargo you off the ledge, try to make up that difference. Or, like, Ganon can with a Ganon side. He really has to work for this comeback. Um... I could see him getting back on stage if Jags doesn't grab. Yep, he makes it on stage. Jags should have just grabbed a ledge there. That would have been like the max range Diddy can speed spot right there. He wouldn't have been able to go for stage. Jags kind of getting juggled there. Um, still doesn't grab that peanut. Uh, getting bodied by the banana. Uh, manages to make it back while Jumbo not making it to the ledge in time. All right, Jags should have his mid-air jump. There it is. Um, there we go. He managed to hit the recovery. Uh, eats a punish for it. Ooh, did not like the spacing on that forward smash. I believe he should have just stood back a little further. Because Diddy can come at you pretty quick, and he, he does have good range Ooh. on that. Ooh. Gets the sweet spot there, and he takes it. JV2. And Jags goes on through winners. No, this is losers.